Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy, and here we have an interesting little problem. We have this square here, and we have this kind of grid situation, kind of broken up uh, into the, these various boxes. Now, I don't want to give away too much information because I want you to kind of figure out this solution all on your own, but we have a shaded part, this part in yellow, of this figure, and the question is we want to write a fraction that represents the shaded part. Okay, so if you can figure this out, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. And then of course, I'm gonna solve this problem step by step. Uh, also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to it in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so again, hopefully you can see this pretty uh, nicely on your phone or computer, but you can kind of count out how many grids are here if you just kind of pause the video and look at it. But the answer is what? Well, what fraction would represent this shaded part out of the entire figure? Well, the answer is 5 eighths. Okay, so I don't think this is too difficult of a problem, but nevertheless, if you got this right, let's go ahead and celebrate your math genius by giving you a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars, so you can tell your friends and family that you were able to conquer an interesting little problem about fractions. All right, so uh, for those of you out there that might be a little confused, let's go ahead and get you unconfused right now because this is really kind of goes to the essence of what fractions are all about. All right, so what is a fraction? Well, you know, there's different kind of ways conceptually you can think of a fraction, but one of the easiest things is to think of it as a part out of a whole. Okay, so this is kind of the model, the conceptual model that we're gonna to use to express a fraction. In other words, let's say I had a pizza here and we just cut up in four huge slices, right? So let's just make this simple, one big pizza, for, uh, we have four slices. Now, of course, those would be pretty big pizza slices, but one part out of the entire uh, pizza here, four slices, we could represent this shaded part as what? Well, the part would be one out of the entire whole and how many uh, uh, pieces total do we have? One, two, three, four. So this shaded part, would be one fourth. We could kind of express that this um, one pizza, right, as one fourth. Now, hopefully, you already have kind of, you know, it's a pretty decent number of sense about what fractions are, but this is effectively going to be a very easy problem because now what we have to do is just identify the part and then identify the total or the whole, okay? So here, hopefully, you can kind of see uh, the grid situation pretty well. I mean, even though this is filled in, you should be able to kind of just kind of count out this uh, uh, situation and just do some basic arithmetic. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. So we're going to go ahead and count out uh, what um, uh, amount of this figure, um, this is this the shader region, how many pieces is that out of the entire whole, okay, or how much of that is out of the entire whole. So this really comes down to just simple counting. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at our figure here. So if we just kind of count the total thing, we can see we have one, two, three, four, uh, four little slices this way, four grid. Uh, we actually have, what, a bunch of squares here, right? So we have one, two, three, four squares going this way, and we have one, two, three, four this way. So how many squares in total? Well, we have 16 little squares uh, that are kind of within this uh, grid figure. Okay. So 16 is our total. So how many of um, these squares are shaded? Well, here we have, let me kind of use a different color. We have one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Don't be shy about just counting away just like that. But some of you can say, oh, we have four here. We have four here. We have two here. It doesn't make a difference as long as you understand that ten of those little grid, uh, little boxes there are shaded, and we have 16 total boxes. So now we have our total or our whole, and we have our shaded amount, which is our part. So let's go ahead and put this all together. So our fraction, or we can kind of think of any fraction as a part out of a whole. So the part here is 10 
of the of um, of those boxes out of a total of 16 is shaded. So that gives us the fraction 10 over 16, but you never ever leave a fraction unsimplified. In other words, if I gave you the fraction 100 over 200, would you just want to write 100 over 200 all day long? No, of course not. We would just simply write the fraction 1 half. You always simplify. And here we can reduce or simplify the fraction 10 over 16, and that is going to be equal to 5 over 8, right? So 2 goes into 10, 5, and 2 goes into 16, 8. So if you have any, um, you know, uh, kind of additional questions with fractions at this level, well, then you're probably due for a good little review on basic arithmetic. Maybe you're learning this right now in school for the first time. Okay, so for those of you out there, if you're like, oh, you know, I'm learning this for the first time, well, that's excellent. Some of you learned this way back in the 1960s. For me, it was the 1970s. So, you, you know, you get away from basic math for a while. You need to kind of brush up these skills, just like riding a bike. If you haven't ridden a bike in decades, I'm pretty sure you can get one, get back on a bike and start riding it. You might, you know, be a little bit uh, you know, wobbly in the beginning, but you uh, will kind of remember all these skills. So let me give you a couple suggestions if you want to kind of brush up on your basic mathematics, kind of like elementary school math or middle school math. I'm talking about place value, fractions, decimals, all that percent, all that kind of good stuff. So two courses that I'm going to suggest. One is my Math Foundations mini course. That's a great little ca uh, crash course for those of you out there that need to brush up on basic arithmetic and or my pre-algebra course. But uh, hopefully this little video helped you out. If that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.